Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is going to be the greatest fight of all time and most definitely two big dogs in this fight game. We have King Ryan Garcia, who is a top contender and one of the hottest stars in the game. Then we have Javante Tank Davis, that killer, that gorilla from Baltimore, the three-division world champion. We all know Tank is trying to be the face of boxing. And then we have Floyd Money Mayweather, arguably the greatest fight of all time, the five-division world champion, the man that helped revolutionize the game that took it out of promoter's hands and put it into the fighter's hands. Now, we all know Floyd Mayweather, ladies and gentlemen, put Tank out the jam, and we need to know the reasoning why. But I'm going to tell y'all my reasoning why Floyd Mayweather put Tank out the jam is because Floyd Mayweather is controlling. It's his way or no way, right? He know Tank their training, getting ready for the biggest fight of his career against Ryan Garcia. He know Tank has his team in the building, and they doing things the way they're doing things. Now, I assume, right? And they say never assume because you make an ASS out of yourself. But I assume, I'm going to assume anyway because I'm Monty Brown and I can do what I want to do, right? That Floyd Mayweather wanted to know what was going down with Tank, what game plan Tank was using, you know what I'm saying? Um, when Tank coming in the gym, things of that nature. And you know what I'm saying? And he, he, he didn't like it, bro. He didn't like it, you feel me? He know Tank coming into the gym. You know Tank is the big dog. So when Tank come in, everything moves around, you feel me? And he probably had people that are doing something and things of that nature and probably was like, well, Tank don't run my gym. That's not his gym. You know what I'm saying? And Tank in the gym, like, look here, man, I'm getting ready, bro. Y'all get out the way. I need to do this. I need to do that. Coming in when he come in, handling this business. You know what I'm saying? When you're a superstar like Tank, you know, you're coming in under certain times and, you know, you're doing your thing, man, especially when you're coming with your team. You know what I mean? And you know it's going to cause a commotion when Tank in, in, in a situation and he doing what he do, getting ready, right? And some people don't like that. But, you know, Tank got Calvin Ford up in that thing. And they, like I say, they, they, they doing everything they need to do to get ready, bro. They ain't got time to worry about nobody else. I'm not saying they being disrespectful or nothing like that. But they on their job. You know, they on their job. And they got to get the job done. Because, like I say, three weeks away for fighters, four weeks away for fighters is not the same as four weeks away for us, the fans. You know what I mean? It go fast for them. And it take a little time for us. But they the one putting the work in trying to get everything done, got a lot to do within that time, you know what I'm saying? So that, that's really not nothing to them. Really, the fight is here for them, you know what I mean? And when it come to Ryan Garcia, right, that's why y'all see Ryan posting pictures every day talking about, oh, man, it sucks making weight, it's this, it's that, and all that shit because he know that time is coming and that, you know, you, you pressed on time a little bit. You feel me? They've been training, they've been working, but once you get a month away from the fight, bro, it's mainly like the fight is here. You feel me? It's mainly like the fight is here. So to Ryan seeing Floyd put Tank out the gym, that kind of was like a, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, a plus. You know what I mean? It's a plus. You see, he going through things, you hoping that it's messing with him mentally, and then you get back on your job. You know what I mean? You get back on your job. But, you know, it's just crazy to me that Floyd do something like that. But like I say, Floyd is controlling. He wanted to be his way or no way. And he know he probably sitting up there warning Ryan, to, you know, get an edge up on Tank. Trust me when I tell y'all these things, fam. When people get in their feelings and then they start getting fucking, you know, Andre and things of that nature and trying to take control like Floyd Mayweather be doing, you know, it's, it's a throw a shot. You know what I mean? It's a throw a shot. And like I say, Floyd know he control a gym. He know it's his gym. And he know he can, at any moment, he can kick anybody out the gym he want to. So he wanted to show his power as usual, right? He wanted to show his power and, and, you know, kick everybody out the gym because you just don't kick Tank out the gym. You kick the whole team out the gym. You feel me? You kick the whole team out the gym. And it's just to show, a, 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 you know, a, a strength of power and, you know, he got people around him. And I don't give a fuck about that. You know, they get the fuck out of my gym. They don't run my shit. You know, there's other people there too. They got to have respect. You know, I know, I'm telling you, bro, I know how Floyd be thinking, fam. I know how Floyd Mayweather think. Like I say, I don't know about y'all, but I studied Floyd Mayweather for a long time, man, to know how he think, bro. Not to say, oh, man, money, you this, but trust me, man, I know people. I know people. You know what I mean? And Floyd Mayweather is that guy that's going to, you feel me, he's going to express himself the way he expressed himself. He's going to um, abuse his authorities at time, right? Because that's what he's doing. He's going to abuse his authority at time, and he's going to show you that he the boss. You feel me? He's going to show you that he's the boss. No if ands, buts about it, bro. He going to show that he's the boss. He runs shit. He work his ass off for this and things of that nature. And credit to him, everything is his, right? It is his. We can't say, 
Oh, well, it ain't. It ain't this. You know, he worked his ass off his blood, sweat, and tears, went into all those things. But it still come a point in time, bro, to where you can't just try to abuse your, your authority and your power because, you know, people don't want to listen to you for their game plans or whatever they doing. You know what I mean? So we need him to break the silence on why he put Tank out the gym. We don't know if he'll ever break the silence. If he ever do it, you know he's going to do it on fight hype. Right? Shout out to Ben from Fight Hype. He go do it on Fight Hype. And, you know, he'll give us a, a few hints of things of that nature. But I don't think he's going to come out and tell the, the, Zach, the, the Zach reason why he kicked Tank out. But, you know, some, some of it got to do with jealousy and that Tank ain't under um, his regime no more like that. Right? And like I say, he feeling like, shit, I don't have to show him no love. He don't have to be in my fucking gym. Right? He's not up under me anymore. You want to do it on your own? Go figure it out. Go get your own fucking gym. You know what I mean? Like, Floyd is that type of dude, bro. He is that type of dude, you know? So when I just look at the whole situation in its entirety, bro, it's just Floyd Mayweather being on some, you know, some despiteful shit. You know what I mean? Let Tank do what he do, man. Let Tank go in that gym because we all know for a fact, let's keep it real, we all know for a fact that if Tank was still up on the TMT, up on the Mayweather promotion, Floyd Mayweather go shut the gym down for Tank. He's going to kick everybody out the gym for Tank to get in there and get ready for the biggest fight of his career. Not only that, he will be in Vegas right now with Javante Tank Davis. Y'all know this. He will be there right now with Javante Tank Davis, you know, trying to run the goddamn camp, trying to tell him what to do and what not to do, right? We know he'll definitely be in all the goddamn press conference and the videos where people be thinking. You got people out here talking about, well, Floyd Mayweather need to be there. He need to do this. He need to do that. Now, listen, would it give him some more ump if he was there? Yes, him and Oscar De La Hoya been in the building. I can't deny that. Like, it's not true. But at the same time, bro, y'all talking like it's Floyd and De La Hoya fight. It's Tank and Ryan fight at the end of the day. Two different styles. Four different styles, to be honest with you, right? Four different styles. When we comparing Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya, Tank and Ryan Garcia. So, nah, man, let Tank and Ryan do their thing, bro. We're here to see Tank and Ryan. They know how to talk their shit the way they talk their shit. We want to hear them talk. We want to hear they beef and them go back and forth like they did in the second press conference. You know what I mean? We got one more press conference coming up with them dudes, the press conference before the fight, and you best believe they go get it on. They going to get it on. They go talk their crap. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, we didn't need Floyd Oscar De La Hoya to be there, right? It would have added on if they was there. But at the end of the day, man, like, let these dudes be them, bro. Let them be them. That's Floyd's problem right now. He want to control everything. He want to act like, you know, he's the, 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 the end of everything and he's the be all or be all. And his word is the last say so. And he got the game plan because he made a billion dollars in the sport. And, you know, I'm 50 and 0. I beat this fighter. I beat that fighter. Nah, man, everybody not trying to be you. You know what I mean? If somebody's trying to be better than you, cool. But you don't want nobody to be better than you. And you already said it. So if you need to help somebody to be better than you, you're not going to help them on that stage. You feel me? You definitely not gonna help them on that stage. You just helping people because you just, oh man, look, you up under me. I gotta do this. But as long as you don't pass me, we good. Period. Floyd one them type. He wants you to do everything good, but as long as you don't pass him up in, in the situation, we good. You know what I'm saying? Now I know the books say never outshine the master, but if we in here and I'm breaking your records, that's a different story, bro. That's a different story. You know what I mean? So with this situation, man. Floyd Mayweather put Tank up out the gym because he wanted to abuse his authority. He want things to go his way. He wanted to show people that I run the show. I don't give a damn if, if Tank do got a fight coming up, right? He's not up on the Mayweather promotion no more, so I don't owe him anything. I don't have to let him in my gym if I don't want to let him in my gym, right? So I feel like that's really part of it. And then we know Tank got his ways to him too. So she had Tank like, I ain't got to talk to that dude, man. Fuck him. I ain't got to do this. I ain't got to do that. You know, Al Heyman put this together, me and Al, so I'm doing what I want to do. I don't have to tell him every move I'm making and everything I'm doing, bro. I don't have to tell him when I'm coming into the gym, who in the gym with me, and all this shit, because I'm quite sure Floyd want to know that. Uh, taking the gym, um, who all with him? How many people he got with him? No, 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 they, they, they came in there like that. Nah, he don't need all them people. All he need is him, his coach, and the people that's training with him. He don't need all his friends in my gym. Everybody's not there to work. People that are working. We don't need this. That's a distraction. He don't like it, he can get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? That's what it really come down to. That's what it really come down to. You feel me? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Tank entourage and who he riding with and Floyd not liking it. Trust me when I tell y'all. Tank entourage who he rolling with and Floyd don't like it. He only want Tank and the coaches in the gym. He don't want Tank people in the gym. Cause that's Floyd Mayweather, bro. That's Floyd Mayweather. Like I said, if Tank was still up on the TMT, it'd be a different story. But since he's not, Floyd go try to, you know, create the diversions and shit 
to show Tank that he running shit. And that's all it come down to, bro. And Tank still showed the man love, even though he hate on him. I got a video coming on that. But shouts out to Tank. Keep grinding. Keep shining. Don't let him throw you off your P's and Q's. You got a big fight coming up. Focus on that big fight. Get that W and then laugh in their goddamn face. Straight like that. And today, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving. Everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Want to donate OG Money on Cash App? Trey Hunter 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.